just real quick before the video starts, thank you everybody for 800 subscribers. And just like my last subscriber milestones, I'm doing another giveaway for this one. Right here, I'm giving away these three Chinese cards fitting with our Chinese opening to one lucky person. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed and comment down below your favorite tin out of this opening. And I'll announce the winners in one week's time on my YouTube community tab. Alright, on with the video. How's it going everybody, Ben from Base Set Mio here and in this video I'm going to be unboxing this Chinese mini tin display. It's actually really cool, as you're gonna see you get a bunch of extras in these Chinese mini tins as compared to the English ones. First of all, let's cut it open and also before I open this, there is a small chance, I don't know if it's on, on this side, um, right here, there is a very small chance, I think 1 in 82, to to get a Clara tin, which will also include the Clara Full Art. Let's see if we're lucky. I have no idea what to expect from this one. I don't know if they're all gonna be the same. So how much do we have? Six? Seven. Okay. So we have seven tins in total. So they come in these ones. I don't know if they're all gonna have Marnie on the front. Let me just see. Okay, so they all have Marnie. That's actually really interesting. Well, here we are, seven of these packages. I actually didn't know they all um, contained Marnie. I, I guess it's random, like no matter what then. So let me just cut the first one open right here and see which tin we have. I don't know if we're guaranteed to have like seven different ones or if there is a possibility that there is a double one in here. Looks like this is the Nessa, I think. That does look kind of like Nessa. Man, the unboxing experience. Yo, look at this. They even protect it from peeking like this. I mean, I guess you could see it from the side. But here we are. A Nessa mini tin. We got, of course, a promo and two booster packs. Here is three booster packs, actually. Three booster packs. So we get Nine Colors Gathering, we got Friends, and we got Origin. And we got the, well, kind of new one. There is a newer set releasing, I think on June 18th, which I'm going to be open, opening, um, Brave Stars, I think it was called. This one is the previous one, as you can see here, 4.5. And then, of course, you get this promo holographic of Nessa, which is really cool. Really wish they would have made these as, like, full arts. But this is just the autograph card that we got from Crown Zenith. And then these mini tins are actually pretty cool, because you don't open them like our tins. You actually slide them, and we get... Really, really cool looking sleeves. Okay, so here we are with these sleeves. They look amazing in my opinion. These look really, really cool. I don't know if these were previously um, Japanese exclusive or if these are like completely new sleeves just for, for the Chinese TCG. Either way though, really, really cool. And also the tins themselves, they slide instead of like opening like our tins. If I can slide it back in. Let me see. There we go. Okay. Well, that is the first tin. We got the Nessa tin first, because, of course, have three booster packs. Um, I don't know how I want to do it. Do I want to? I think what we're going to do, I'm going to open each one of these up, and then we're going to see which tin we got from each. So let me see which one is in here. That looks like um, Beat, maybe? Or is it Hop? No, it's Beat. Okay. Next one right here. Let me cut this one open as well. Let's see. Don't know which this one is. Let's see. Oh, it's Leon. It's Leon. Look at that. That looks really, really cool, that illustration. All right. Four packages in total left of these these tins. We'll see if we have the Clara. I actually didn't know. I thought there was all going to be, be different on the front here. That it basically shows which one you get. But this just makes it... Maybe, maybe a possibility that we get the Clara tin. Here we have, um, Hop. All right, let's cut the next one open. See which one we have. I think that might be Bea. I think that might be Bea. Let's see. It is Bea, okay. I was really wanting to get either Nessa or Bea. Okay, so I kind of got to stack these two tins because I'm running out of space because I'm so zoomed in. Let's see. That one is... Oh, that's Raihan, I think. That might be Raihan. It is, okay. Raihan is also really cool, especially with that Flygon in the background here. Okay, one last sealed box. Do we have the Clara tin? Or do we not have the Clara tin? Well, only one way to find out, I suppose. Only one way to find out. I'm not gonna peek. I'm not gonna peek. That is Marnie. 
Okay, we did not get we did not get the Clara tin, but we got Marnie. All right, and here we are with all the tins that we've gotten from our opening. These are the normal seven, and then the Clara tin is just a special one, as I said, that you can potentially pull. And here are the promos for each one, just the signature cards, but I still think very cool. We have Bayar, Nessa, we have Beat, we have Hop, Leon, Leon is really cool, and then we have Marnie. This one we've actually gotten a premium collection as well, I do believe. So there we are with the promos, and let me just show off the sleeves for each individual tin. Alright, and here are each individual sleeves. They all look absolutely amazing. If I had to pick a favorite one, it might even be the Leon, just because of how much there's going on in the background right here. We have Charizard sleeping, we have also a Hop and so on, looks like a festival in the background, really cool. Here we have Beat, and Nessa you've already seen, but I'll show it once again real quick. Here we have Raihan with Flygon in the background, that also looks really, really cool. As you know, I am a sucker for a Gen 3 Pokemon. Here we have Bea, also really cool. Then we have Marnie. I do believe we already have these kinds of sleeves, just not with the Chinese writing at the bottom there. Which I think basically just says Pokemon trading card game. I recognize the characters that make up Pokemon, so that must be it. And here we have Hop with Sonya in the background right there. Didn't even notice that at first. Really cool sleeves. I have a lot of sleeves now. Guess I won't have to buy any sleeves for the foreseeable future. But here we are. Let me zoom in a bit for the opening, I suppose. We have a ton of packs to go through, so let's just see if we can pull anything at all. First pack up right here. The 4.5 Chinese set. We have the Lopunny, Reverse Deoxys, and right off the bat, a Mimikyu VMAX. Nice! Right off the bat, a really pretty cool pull with the Mimikyu VMAX. Okay, I also do have, um, I've bought two more boxes of um, Nine Colors Gathering. Uh, but this time I bought the correct boxes. This time I bought the, um, the whatchamacallit, the so-called fat boxes. Well, there is another pull. Talk about being lucky, Chandelier V. Hey, if this keeps up, we'll be, we'll be very, very lucky. Two pulls from two packs. Let's see. Let's make it a hat trick. Let's make it three for three. Come on. Three for three. Let's see if we can get another pull right here. These these were all from the same tin as well. Ah, unfortunately not. Unfortunately not a pull in this one. Okay, that's fine though. Two pulls already. I wonder what the odds are with these tins. I think they're going to be similar to our tins, where it's basically, you know, randomly inserted, like no promised super rares, as it usually is with these tins. But there we are. Yo, here we have a Garboder VMAX. Maybe these tints are actually pretty good for pulls. I mean, usually, not always, but from my personal experience, typically you can expect at least one pull from a mini tin. I'd expect it to be kind of similar with the Chinese tins. Maybe even a bit better. But that's just me. Because TCG is still kind of new and they want to keep people hooked on, on the stuff, right? So maybe they're going to make the, the pull rates a little bit better in here. Bro, if, if we just pull one super rare, that would be really, really cool. But then I do have the fat boxes of Nine Colors Gathering, Friends, and, and Origin, which have promised super rares this time around, not like last time, even though I still pulled a super rare last time around, which is really cool. was a super rare that I already had in Japanese, but still pretty cool. Let's see... Let us see. Oh, to talk about the new set, right, I've completely forgotten. The new set that's releasing, Brave Stars, I think it was called. I bought two booster boxes of it. Well, I pre-ordered them. They only release at June 19th, and then it will probably take about two weeks to, to get the boxes. But I've also bought the special gift box. I guess I'll put up a picture here somewhere once I'm done with this pack. Let me just see. Okay, just a holographic. I do think they actually do count as pulls. So here's a picture of the gift box that I bought. Pearl and Diamond Clan gift box or something like that. Really, really cool, actually. Two awesome deck boxes. An awesome playmat. And then a few booster packs here and there. Really, really cool stuff. Honestly, I think Pokemon China, Pokemon TCG China, like the Chinese Pokemon, they actually do get some of the best products, in my opinion. Like, I think I just have to point out the first anniversary gift box. 
the first anniversary gift box, and then people will just freak out. Here we have a Zorok. Okay, maybe I am wrong with the pull rates. Maybe, maybe I was wrong with my intuition. We still have a bunch to go through. Would be really happy if we got at least one, one super rare. This one was really hard to open. So that means there is a super rare in here. Come on. I wouldn't mind pulling a Chinese Mew, to be fair. Wouldn't mind pulling a Chinese Mew. Let's see, just an uncommon and just an uncommon as well. I think whether we're first spot is, there would usually go the card. So, not in this one. I would really love to pull the Chinese Mew VMAX, actually. Because I do want to compare um, textures between the, well, Chinese one, which has Japanese texturing. I'm, I keep saying it in every single Chinese opening. But I would love to compare the textures of the two. Okay, a handful packs left. Also, I will be trying for future videos where I unbox stuff to keep like this kind of camera angle, you know, the cards um, a bit closer to the camera itself. Here we have an Ente, very cool looking. Hey, there we go. There we, there we go, we broke the dry streak. Pull an Inteleon V there. Very, very nice. Let's see if we can still hit a super rare though. That would be amazing though, right? I also bought a bunch of other stuff. Well, this one was really hard to open again. This one was really, really hard to open. Let me just do the card trick. Well, that's the card trick. I know the card trick in Chinese. Not yet, at least. But it should just be one, right? Let's see. I think I just see... Uh, it's just a holographic, unfortunately. Cinea. That would be a cool full art, even though I already have that in English. But let's see what we can pull. So I've opened... Or not I've opened. I've bought a few other products, like, among these. I've also bought, like... Um, Two little, little, whatchamacallit, boxes that have, like, picture frames, if you will, for, like, Mew and Umbreon. They also look really, really cool. I will be opening that in an upcoming shorts video, so stay tuned for that. And other than that, let's continue on with this opening. We only have a handful of packs left. Still no super rare, but although then it isn't promised in this one. Here we have a triple rare Inteleon V Max. Goes well together with our Inteleon V. But nonetheless, just a triple rare. None of that super rare. I also have the tendency to pull gold rares for some reason in these Chinese openings. Using my losing my voice over here. Let's see. Maybe I can pull another gold rare. Nope, just a double rare. Lycan Rock V. Very cool though. Lycan Rock. Okay, it looks like we have about four packs left for this opening right here. I mean, we've gotten a bunch of pulls, just nothing too great. So let's see if we can't end it with a banger. Come on. Maybe a really good one. That's... that's just a rare. It's... it's coming, don't you worry, don't you worry. It is coming. It is coming, slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Let's see. Alright, Yveltal. We have a Chansey. A Reverse Lotad, Holographic Galarian Articuno, and a Boost Shake. Last time I pulled the Boost Shake from Evolving Skies, I pulled an Umbreon right after. Maybe that's a sign. You know, maybe there's an Umbreon hiding in the next pack, not in this one, because this is like Fusion Arts. So, let us see. Can we get something in this one? A, a Double Rare Hoopa. Not too bad. Also, to me, I don't know if, it, if, it, if that's just me. But I feel like these V cards shine way more than they ever did in English for some reason. I don't know if that's just me. But it feels like the holo foil is just so much better. I mean, it is the chi uh, Japanese print quality, so maybe, maybe that's the reason. Or maybe I'm just, I'm just tripping because I haven't seen a V card in in a really long time. Okay, that's a really cool looking, uh, what should we call it, Mudkip. That's really cool illustrated. Here we go. Here we go. Let me pull out this card right here, which is a Raihan. And then let's see if we have something. No, oh, just a holographic. Okay. Well, that's fine, though. Because not only did we still get seven, seven pulls in this opening, we also have a bunch of sleeves. I'll never have to buy sleeves ever again after this one. And also a bunch of, uh, a bunch of promos. I still haven't decided what I want to do with these, honestly. I have no clue. I do think they're pretty neat, though. I really, really like the autographs. 
Well, but I guess that does it for this opening. If you enjoyed this one, then please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, then by all means give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix that for future videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button. Click this one first, then click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I hope we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace. Take care.